Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Bob and Tom. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Happy to be here. Let's see now. What is it? Uh, the 14th of May. 2020, the quarantine continues. Oh, my, my brother Jeff's birthday. Happy oh, birthday, Jeffy. Happy birthday, Jeff. Yeah. Jeffy! Should we call him up? My favorite Arnold. Yeah, we could. He's, is, uh, I is, think he's sitting in the Lake of the Ozarks. Is Jeff the troublemaker one? No. That's oh. Joey Wednesday. Oh, that's yeah. right, Joey. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we should wake him up. Yeah, we could. Isn't, isn't is, Jeff is fishing Arnold right now? your favorite Arnold? Uh, I, he may be fishing, yeah. Because we've got a great fishing story coming up in the news. I mean, really a great one. In sports. Oh, really? really? oh it's sports. in sports? Yeah. Yes. It's fishing. Uh, okay. Why? You know Nothing. what? I'm not going to take that personally. <laughs> <laughs> you got any songs about fish, Pat? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. What if Randy Newman sang a song about oh, fish? Oh, man. Who can't you No, 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 Let's see now. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Um, our engineer, of course, is Ace Cosby, the legend, the voice, the kiss fan, and the proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day. What? Are you kidding right now? Of course. Why not? Oh, oh, boy. He's loosening up. If you're watching on, uh, on YouTube, you can see him getting ready. Ace, uh, take it away. Why'd the bagel go into the bar? I don't know, I don't know Ace. Why? why did the bagel go he into the bar? He wanted to get toasted. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sometimes simple, in and out. Yeah. I think that would work with a loaf of bread, too. Why would the loaf of bread? Or loaf piece of bread. bread. Pizza, pizza piece, bread? Piece of. Oh, piece of bread? I the slice of bread. Slice of bread? Yeah. I go with two slices. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. <laughs> supposed to supposed they wanted to, to get toasted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That would work. Okay. Sorry. All right. Uh, no, no need to Mr. And Mrs. overdo bread, the analysis. Mr. Oh, and Mrs. Nice, bread walk Ace. into a bar. Thank you. you like a toast point? What's that? Uh, What's that? Yeah, I don't like tiny a toast point. Piece oh, of yeah, toast. Yeah. 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 If you got it, if you got something to dip it into. Sure, of course, yeah, that's yeah. the whole point of the you toast. Dip point. it into some hummus, perhaps. Maybe, some honey yeah, mustard, maybe, maybe some uh, garlic mayonnaise. Hummus always handy to have around if you want to do the great gag where you, <laughs> <laughs> you what put a little hummus on your shoe. Oh, <laughs> you walk up to someone and go, oh, I stepped in dog uh. poop, and then you put your finger on it, take a dollop of it, and go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's, the, it's the chihuahua. It's the neighbor. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> but you're still eating hummus off your shoe. If well, we you, do, you, 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 you be careful. Yeah. You gotta, if we do uh, talk to my brother today, I have a game we can play. Okay. Okay, good. I'll, I'll tell him I love him, and we'll see how long it takes. If he if he even says it back to me. Okay. And Because I don't think he's very comfortable with that kind of thing. So okay. it'll be funny. Huh. Okay. okay. Uh, speaking of food today <laughs> is buttermilk biscuit day. Oh, one of my, uh, just, one of my just favorites. A delightful food. Yes. Mm. I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's hard to beat the Pillsbury biscuits. Especially I, the fl big and flaky or whatever. The, the grand, grand. The grand, baby. The grand yes. Pillsbury biscuit. Now, we, we got a, your head. got a great letter here. Um... We had an interesting topic the other day. Um, oh, remember the other day? Boy, that was a show. Oh, foods yeah. foods that you cook oh, more than you once. Were here. Remember oh, this? foods, yeah. Uh -huh. Foods you cook more than once. Right. And uh, because we were talking about potatoes. Yes. And the top three potatoes, of course, French fries, number one. And then number two, twice baked. And then uh, number three, baked. mashed. Oh, man. Mashed. Okay. Uh, a food you bake twice. And uh, the most obvious answer, of course, is toast. So you bake the food bread. Food you cook oh, yeah. twice. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, but most people don't bake their own bread. So I but it was baked at some but point. But it was baked. Yeah, that's true. I think it's a good point. I eat raw bread. You know, <laughs> not what there is, isn't there a somewhat of a yeast shortage right now? Yeah, there is. Be hard people to get are, right now. Because people are making, ma making their own bread. Okay. Back well, to I went to look, days. I looked for yeast the other day. Calling um, their kids half pint? You <laughs> look for it at a store or are you having an issue? <laughs> no, at the store. You need 20 bucks? Dip wad. Get up the rate. <laughs> I believe without the flashlight. I believe God. Christy just called you a dickwad. I okay. called him dip. Let's not I gloss said over that. Dip wad. Oh, a dip wad. Yes. Okay, oh. Sorry. Yeah. I oh. wanted to say the other. Oh, but okay. Added um, now back to the other topic that we've been discussing today, oh. which is how much I like plastic straws. Mm -hmm. uh, dare I read a little bit of something from the New York Times? Um, headline. You mean you've gone oh on the God. internet and uh, and um, verified one of your crackpot causes? <laughs> That's surprising. I just think that the the problem with plastic straws is we have to develop a way to properly dispose of them, which could be very easily done. Once again, I give you a uh, 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 pencil sharpening technology. We wood, could, nature. Uh, uh, we could figure out a way to do this. But uh, headline: New York Times: Fatal accident with metal straw. 
Oh, what happened? A British woman was impaled by a metal straw after falling at her home. The coroner said in an inquest this week that highlighted the potential mm. dangers of metal straws. I don't even need to read you any more what? of this. Uh, you know what? If you can't navigate a stainless steel straw without killing yourself, well, sad. maybe that's what you right get. from the New York Times. Okay. It sounds like a freak accident. And no, I'm just yeah. telling was you. Was she a bearded lady? <laughs> what would you say? Was she a bearded <laughs> lady? Was she a freak accident? Huh? Very clever. Huh? And this, you can't get them clean. They... Uh, you, you, they, those metal straws, you cannot get them clean. That's yes, why you can. Restaurants aren't allowed to reuse them legally. Why can't you put states. them in the dishwasher? How do you know you they're can. not allowed to use them? Why reuse can't? them? And you use like a pipe cleaner. You just I get read. in there and the soap. It's called literacy, chick. They don't you read them. They don't get clean about... in a dishwasher. No, you can't get in all the way in there. You got to get those. What do you call them? Pipe cleaners. That's what he just said. Out. And they yeah. come with them usually. Yeah, that's the labor intensive, uh, oh, causing millions sakes. of dollars in pollution. You love <laughs> that kind of thing. Bring back the plastic straw. I'll lead the way. All right. Sorry. You Sorry. love labor intensive stuff. Bang in the drum. That's true, but complicating, <laughs> contradicting yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. Now, have we finished sports yet? I'm really exhausted. Oh, if we've gone extra. on so long, this is considered a sports extra now. Okay. A uh, nine-year-old boy caught a really big fish. How oh, big? Uh, in Tennessee, a sturgeon. <laughs> sturgeon like a general. sturgeon. <laughs> that weighs more than he does. According to the Tennessee Wildlife and Resource Agency, Coy Price. <gasps> oh, fish. he's even named after a fish. <laughs> or was he? Had been eager to catch a big fish after his 11-year-old sister hooked a 40-pound striper. Uh-huh. Ah, mm. remember Striper? The band? The band, yeah. yes. Christian rock? Yeah. Right? Ace, you're a big fan. Uh, Christian right? metal? Weren't the drumsticks striped? Isn't that right? <laughs> they the were all days, striped, right? The early days were great. The early days were great. <laughs> What's their biggest song? Uh, always There For You or <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. Your musical taste is... <laughs> His eight-year-old sister reeled in a 58-pound blue catfish no, some time ago. he didn't. Coy was recently targeting catfish at Old Hickory Lake when he hooked an 80-pound sturgeon. I'd like to interrupt for one second. Coy weighs 55 pounds. Doesn't Old Hickory Lake sound like a lake in a horror movie? It does, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was the old man at Old Hickory Lake. It you, took the boy... It turned out he was eating kids. Oh, if you geez. kids aren't going to Old Hickory, are you? <laughs> Sometimes dead is better, yeah. <laughs> that lake belongs to him. It Ooh. took the boy. Yeah, he's not in your lake. You're in his. <laughs> it took the boy 15 minutes to get the fish into the boat. The Tennessean reports that after weighing the fish and taking some pictures, the family returned the fish to the water. Sure, they Who did. helped reel, them in, who reel it in? Um, he reeled it in himself. He reeled I, it himself. So I'm An 80 pounds fish? Out. I'll, I would okay. need help. The physics of fishing, it's not... The, I'll wait him by okay, 25 pounds. It's in the water. This fish is... Putting up a bit, fight. This yeah. fish is pretty much the same size as Christy. 80 pounds. There's... I had... How much does the kid weigh? 55. There's no... That... That's tough. I love the fact that they give the kids weight. It's like he's an SEC linebacker candidate. <laughs> oh, 55-year-old Hickory Four Lake. Four foot eight, uh, 55 I mean, pounds. Let's, let's not discount this catch. And, and no. the, the catch of his sister catching a 58-pound blue catfish. That's yeah, like, no kidding. But really? they had assistance reeling them in. Well, is all like. They the en- had to. The endangered Lake Sturgeon, of course, endangered due to... Plastic straws in the air. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are some of the largest and longest living fish in Tennessee. They can grow up to eight feet and live up to 150 years. They're massive. Oh they're, they're, they're gigantic, yeah. Eight feet in an inland lake? Yes. That's sick. That's not good eating. That's sick and raw. No. No, 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 you, don't, no you don't want no. to eat that. I'd be, like, no. be trying to eat the Sunday paper. <laughs> God. More sturgeon? Are there? Do they have? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Yeah. Do they have warning? Can they bite people? I mean, do they have warnings? I don't think sturgeon have teeth. Gar have teeth. I know that. Yeah, they do. Especially I, alligator gar. Oh, here we go. Oh, Here's yeah. the article. Oh, there's a warning from the sturgeon general. Oh. Hey! <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> sturgeon general. Wow. Sturgeon. C-. The sturgeon C-. general. C minus. Ace game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, identify this song, please, Josh. I'm going to guess Striper. Yeah. And I'm going to guess this is, uh, he died for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's On that. a cross. <laughs> yeah. It's called To Hell with the Devil. Very oh. good, Ace. Oh. Okay, Ace, wow. try this one. You See. do that one? Wow. Okay. Here you go, Ace. Yeah. Check this one out. Right. Soldiers Under Command from their first album. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Hey. 
Ace, you, you're, the, you're the man. How about this one? Oh, there it's called is. Honestly. They made, made top to, ten he mentioned Ace. Honestly when we were talking about it. Ace, you wow. are the man. Sounded like the song from an American tale at first. Wow. Somewhere, somewhere out uh, Linda Ross. Keep it a fool listening. Oh, what are you saying there? Uh, Dean's saying no on something. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I, I know what I'm right. Good job, Ace. <laughs> Very nice, Ace, for in a little bit of a striper. He's a savant. He, he should be a name that... They should That's bring that too back and have you host. Did all the yeah. guys wear striped pants and stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. I remember Don't the striped, remember striped drum sticks. Threw, yeah. threw Bibles yeah. out to the crowd yeah. and said, you know... Many injuries. <laughs> Bible. Oh. So it's, it's, it's the opposite. It's the opposite of that story well. where the guy's got the Bible in his pocket and the bullet gets red lodged. Yeah, and yeah. Saves <laughs> Some poor guy loses his vision because he got. Yeah, a, yeah. You uh, get hit with a Bible, you yell, "Jesus Christ!" <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good book. Hell. Good book until it blinds you. Yeah. We'll, we'll come. We'll come right back. Well, here, yeah, uh, my peeps. Eric just uh, yes? e- just emailed me, Bob and Tom at Bob and Tom oh, What do you say? He says, uh, "Ace, you rock." Tell Ace I had Striper blaring in my car just the other day. All right. Oh, my, yes. Oh, okay. We got a lot of these. When I saw Striper at, uh, at Amarillo in the 80s, I was hit in the face by a Bible <laughs> thrown in the crowd by Michael Sweet. Holy the corner hell. of the Bible uh, got me right in the eye. Ah. And I screamed, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Uh, the moon, the, excuse me, he goes on to say the wound healed very quickly. Jesus does indeed save. Well, okay, there you, there you go. Thank you very much, Trey. What is the old joke? Then? Jesus saves, Moses invests? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus saves Gretzky with the rebound. Go! <laughs> that's good. Uh, See, oh, that's here we good. go, Ace. This It's amazing. All the striper fans out there. Justin writes, I'm with Ace. This is Justin from Kingston, Wisconsin. I actually have... Oh, where the trio comes from. Uh, yeah. Oh, the Kingston trio? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, hang down your head, Tom Dooley? That's no, right. That's hang a, down your head, Tom Dooley. That's a depressing, awful... Hang down your awful. head and die. God, oh. I hated that stuff. Or cry. Is it cry? Uh, I think it's cry. He it's, cries This guy, uh, he says he has the Starter Vinyl. What does that mean? Is that the name of their first album, Starter? Or is no. It, uh, typo. Just early vinyl. Guys. Okay, all right. A it's actually a white LP. Oh. Hmm. So they must have done the white I, vinyl thing. I think I have a striper picture disc of one of the albums. Oh, nice. Okay. Ace, top three striper song. <laughs> Your faves. Hmm. Always there for you. Um, always there for you. Number one. Always there for you. Uh, number two it would be honestly. It's a great love song. There you okay. go. Okay. All right. Uh, soldiers under command. Okay. Wait a minute. I just happen to have soldiers under command right here. That's I think a, you I, have honestly I, there. I, 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 I keep it here at all times. I think you do. <laughs> Boy, that's a total 80s sound. Boy, right they there. are. They're yeah. tight, man. Ah. We are soldiers under God's command. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Right. Very good. Uh, if you don't agree, we're going to hit you with a Bible. <laughs> now, earlier we were also, by the way, I want to say the Bob and Tom store, uh, that money that's coming in there, it's all going out to Feeding America. So uh, if you've ever oh. thought about maybe getting a cap or a shirt or whatever we got there, uh, the Bob and Tom store dot com. Uh, we're donating that money to Feed America. A great, uh, a great program trying to help some folks uh, that have some struggles right now due yes. to all this complicated crap. And going a few on people have uh, posted photos of their new wares. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Send us your pictures of you and Thank your you new. Uh, and I like it, that. Yeah, I'd like to be congratulated. Some. Anybody? Well, for what? What do you think I should be congratulated? I don't know. Haven't used the e word all morning. That's oh. right. You sure haven't. I no. have not used the e- Are they all dead? The E word, eagle. Oh. Did they eagles. fly away? Yeah. What, what's going on? But I do want to thank all the people that have been emailing me about how much they're enjoying the photographs of the eagles. The eagle mail. Not the eagles, the band, but the eagles, the actual. Sure. The great, the American eagle, the beautiful yes. bald eagles. that They're right near the station. Took uh, A friend of ours took some pictures of them and a lot of fans of those mm-hmm. in these in these times uh-huh. in times like these it's nice to see Seconds things like the blue angels and eagles you know american stuff i'm right. sure you guys are probably at home eating your dim su chow mein uh, <laughs> it working, is reading good. mao's red book well, that's, uh, and all of your leftist very, very socialist uh, compelling theories in that novel mm-hmm. uh-huh. yes of course that, you that, commies that, that home, if it's good for uh, me it's good boy have we been windbagged i'll tell oh, you that right oh boy oh, what happened what? Uh, this is in the, the, the this is in the, uh, boy uh, you know what this, Jeremy sent this in, and this is a return to form to, for the windbag correspondent. So do you want, oh, okay. Do you want the intro then? Right. Why you gotta be such a windbag? Dear moron. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I like this already. <laughs> nice. You mouth-breathing simpletons obviously go. don't understand proper handkerchief usage. Oh. You don't reuse a handkerchief like some uncultured swine <laughs> blowing your nose into it and handing it to someone else. Handkerchiefs can only be shared if they are clean and unused. This is my favorite part. If, if someone gives you a fresh handkerchief because you are perspiring, let's say, you return it laundered, ironed, and folded into a square. Wow! <laughs> Why you gotta be That's such a windbag? That's the new vice president of the uh, junior windbag study. Who is that again? Uh, it's Jeremy. Yeah, thank you, Jeremy. I thank got you. another one. I, I don't know. No well, well, again, we, we got into it. I, I just don't understand the concept, the, the, the <laughs> handkerchief. It's disgusting. And as I said, my friend Gary well, always carried a handkerchief, and he's dead now. So It's like, always a one. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Here's another windbag. Uh, okay. This is for Tom. Please inform Tom. Please inform Tom that it is possible to purchase reusable straws. Most of them I've seen are stainless steel. You I know. I... Wash and use them as much as you want. If Tom would purchase some, then we wouldn't have to hear him yeah. complain like a child. I bought him one. About yeah. straws Idiot. on no such idea. a regular Because oh, it's basis. so convenient to go grab a quick lunch and walk in and whip out your stainless steel straw. Right in your there on your tea chain. It, it unfolds like a no, uh, This is a, 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 a left-wing, like politically correct <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. I... Oh, oh what, thank what, goodness. what's happening? Hello, I'm going to go Bobby. as a plastic straw to Halloween Tom next year. <laughs> hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Hey, right? Donnie, hey, I'm Donnie. the voice of reason at last. Well, I hate to chime in and pick sides, but uh, handkerchiefs, yeah, they can be reused. Just like rubbers, they got two sides for the same reason. <laughs> oh, Donnie. Right. Well, that's enough from Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're done. <laughs> Man, you guys still quarantined where you are? Yes. Yeah. Well, we are here, too. It's getting serious. You know, I, I still can't get a haircut. It, it used to be business in the front and party in the back. Right. You know? I look like a young kid rock. Now uh -huh. I'm starting to throw a banger on both ends. It's growing out so much. Oh, God. Mm. My bangs get much longer. I'm look like that one almond brother got sick. But <laughs> I, was, I mentioned you guys, I've been busy watching that little ratatouille dog. That my chihuahua? Neighbor, yes. Yeah. My next door neighbor, Crystal. Mm-hmm. I wish I was watching her sweater puppies instead. <laughs> I swear to God. Well, it's weird because she's a dirty blonde with set of natural hammers. Yeah. But her sister, Dana, she barely got B cups and looks like it, one lesbian in Oasis. But they are <laughs> sisters. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> yesterday I decided I'm going to take a little rat face for a walk. Uh -huh. Do a good deed. See if you know, I could maybe wear it out because all it does is jap nonstop. It's like I'm house sitting Stephen A. Smith. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear to God. I put his leash on him. We head out for the walk. Mm -hmm. Everything's going good. He ain't getting tangled in the leash like last time. You know, last time he looked like a sea turtle fighting a crazy straw. He's got way better <laughs> with that. <laughs> But then, of course, once we get a good mile, mile half from home, Ratatouille decides he needs to cut weight right then and there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, and this dog proceeds to drop one of the biggest mud darts I've ever seen. Oh, uh, he, he lost more weight than Adele. It, it, it looks like he, <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> like he gave birth to a steaming pig puppy right there on somebody's lawn. Oh, God. And, and spoiler alert, all of a sudden, this Karen runs out her front door holding a camcorder, screaming about, I better pick up my dog's crap or she's going to call the cops. And so I reach in my pocket and realize I gave my last baggie to my bass player, Boner, so he could keep his leftover pop brownies fresh. Mm. <laughs> so now I've either got to run or raw dog it. So I'm humming, Jesus, take the wheel to myself, trying to drown out Karen. He's <laughs> trying to rally the other neighbors to join her crusade against me. That's the thing with dogs. Dogs are fun and super cool to have until they decide to go mudding on you. Uh-huh. Mm. And the fact remains, as a certified grown man, mm -hmm. there ain't nothing more degrading than carrying another mammal's discharge. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I'd rather carry my side piece's purse at Bed Bath & Beyond than carry a dog's <laughs> dung rocket around in a plastic bag. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, there really ain't nothing worse than picking up a fresh steamer, neither. 
Yeah. You know? Yep. The kind where you can see the heat vapors All coming right. off of it. Yeah. yeah, we get it. Oh, well, like, when, like when Peyton used to take his helmet off in the fourth quarter. You know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and like they say, it ain't so much the humidity as it is the heat you know, humming through the bag. Feels like a hot, bold, deviled egg. Ugh. It's oh, it's the worst hand warmer ever invented. I oh. wonder if that's what Lewis and Clark did on their expeditions to avoid frostbite. I uh, doubt it. I do too. <laughs> anyway, so now I got this steamer sending out smoke signals. This random Karen on a cordless phone. Now it's two more neighbors staring at me. <laughs> I feel like Clint Eastwood's in Pale Rider. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how the mind works under pressure, though. It just sort of hit me. I remember I was wearing an old pair of sweats and one. And I just slid my lip and off my foot, scooped it up, and walked the rest of the way home looking like a homeless NFL kicker. <laughs> I did learn a lesson, though. From now on, I'm only going to wear new socks when I walk this dog. Why is oh. that? Well, that way, if it goes down again, I got to worry about it seeping through the holes on the way back. Oh, 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 I swear to God, I left a longer evidence trail than OJ at Bundy. It's the worst. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to go. All right, Donnie. Oh. Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.